Uh, hello. I'm going to do a vlog now about a really awesome day I had today. And it's going to be a long one, I can just tell already. I think it's going to be a long one. Um, tonight, today in the afternoon, I went to um, the Regent Theatre and they have this thing for the Wicked Musical. You know, Wicked the Musical, the musical that's about um, the Wicked Witch of the West. Um, it's awesome. Um, and they have this thing where it's called the Lottery and you two and a half hours before a show like they just announced it just um that they were doing it again this time and it just started like saturday and today's sunday so like this is the second day it's been on and they do this thing where two and a half hours before the show um you can put your name write your name down on this piece of paper and then they half an hour later they draw it out i think they've got 20 tickets they draw it out of um this little barrel green barrel of course because um, the Wicked Witch of the West is green. And then these people who get drawn out, they get to buy um, $35 tickets and to see the show. And the tickets are usually at a, at a really good spot, like um, like the front few rows and stuff like that. And also $35 to see Wicked is fantastic because the average price of the ticket is between $90 and $120, I think, or more, you know. And... Like, I'd seen Wicked before, um, when it first was in Melbourne, like in 2009, I think it was. I'm not sure exactly, but it's been years, and I remember I really liked it a lot, and have such good memories of watching it, um, with my, like, I went to see it with my friends, and then I took my little sister to see it as well, and we had such a good time watching it. Um, and so when it came back to Melbourne this year, I was like, oh, I really want to see it, and, um, also, um, I one of the characters, the good witch of the, the good witch, Glinda, Glinda, uh, is in Australia. She's it's played by Lucy Durack, Lucy Durack, and I really like because she, she was the first Glinda that I saw, as person as I saw as Glinda, and um, I really liked her a lot. Like ever since to, from the moment she started singing that popular song, it's called popular. Yeah, um, I just started to like her as that character and. Then later after the show, I remember this is like five years ago or whatever, I would go onto YouTube and watch that popular, um, that song popular, and it'd be from other people, other Glinders around the world doing it, like maybe from America or whatever, and they're probably they're really really good, but they're not the the Glinda that I saw, and I want, you know, like it's um, they're not they're not Lucy Durack, so it's funny it's very similar to how some people with like the show Doctor Who they'll have like their favourite doctor that they like and they don't like anyone else this kind of thing which um for me um yeah it's kind of like that situation for me in this like I just wanted uh, I like Lucy Dirac as Glinda uh, a lot and so she's just fantastic like yeah it's it's, cool. it's awesome okay so um so yesterday we went um because it was the first day they were doing the ballot, the, the, I think it's called ballot? Lottery. Yesterday, so, um, Cameron, um, Megan, a whole bunch of us, we went, um, to go do it, and, um, there was quite a few people there, I think, maybe about, I'd say maybe about 40, I see, I'm not sure, maybe a bit more, and, um, so out of that group, um, they drew out two, two names, so, um, the people that got to see it were Rosalie, um, Rebecca, Rebecca, and Sarah, and so I was really happy for them that they got to see it, so, um, the rest of us, um, we went to watch Male Maleficent instead, so I still had a really good night and everything like that, but then, um, so the next day, I was thinking to myself, um, because yesterday was, like, really good weather, and today, it was, like, a kind of a cold, dreary, miserable day, and it was, like, raining and stuff, and uh, I'd, I'd gone to my Qigong class in the morning, so I'd already taken the train into the city and came back home, and I was thinking to myself, um, like, this kind of crap crappy weather, maybe there'll be less, and a Sunday night, I was thinking, maybe there'll be less people going for the lottery, and I was thinking, maybe I should try it tonight, like, there's no reason not to, like, I've already used my train ticket, and me going out to the city again would cost the same, like, f it'd be free, basically, because I'd already used it once, so I was thinking, I could, like, um, I was planning to, like, just spend the afternoon maybe exercising or something like that, um, but instead I thought, I'm just gonna go there's no reason not to this crappy weather and stuff so I went in and I just had a feeling like I should go and so I went in and I um, got there I think about four o'clock so basically just on time and stuff like that and then um 
I was really happy because when I got there, um, the, the, sh the, the afternoon show for Wicked, people were flowing out, like it just finished, and so that kind of got me excited about it because people would like coming out with programs and everything and they were buzzing about it basically, like taking photos and stuff. Um, and so that got me really excited. And then when the when the kind of like the dust settled, there was I was really kind of happy because there was not that many people. Like I don't know how many people there was. Like um, I don't know, like a handful. And I was thinking to myself, oh, they've got like twenty tickets to give away. So there's a good chance. Like it was like I was I was glad. But at the same time, it was really weird because I didn't want to get my hopes up too much. I didn't want to be like really disappointed if I didn't get it or. At the same time, I didn't want to, like, um, be too negative about it and not expect to get it. So I was kind of, like, kind of balancing in between, like, trying not to think about it too much. And so when they announced, um, when people started filling out their things, it was, it was funny. Like, I was there by myself, like, the, the day before, I had my whole little group there. It was really cool. Everyone was buzzing. And, but this time it was just me there. And um, so I knew the process. I filled it out handed in and just kind of had to wait for half an hour because they um like they take it in two and a half hours before you put your name down and then two hours I mean like half an hour later they draw the names out so um so it came to what 4 30 so in that half an hour I was just sitting there trying to like be calm and stuff like that I was like reading my kindle you know just kind of distracting myself thinking about other things um and you know I just want to make a point before I forget not yet, because it's not there. Um, so, yeah, when they cut to draw, drawing out the names, they were, like, reading, reading out the names, and um, the first few, um, it wasn't me, and um, I was like, okay, <laughs> that's cool. You know, um, the day before, I was kind of feeling, it feels like, um, you know when you watch Miss America or Miss Universe or whatever, and they're waiting to call out the names of the other, the contestants who are going to go to the next round? And everyone's just like waiting to hear their name. It felt like that. That was yesterday. But today it was different because I was thinking, oh, I just, funnily enough, I had this kind of feeling in my, inside myself that I, I was going to, like, I felt good about it. Like, it just felt like, I think I'm going to get it, <laughs> you know? And, um, and then after they read about four names, like, <laughs> I was like, because it was hard to hear because it was kind of noisy around and they were just talking from inside there box up box office thing so you couldn't really hear that clearly so I just kept like trying to make sure I could hear properly like I'd get real close and stuff and eventually they said my because in every name they called I was I kept thinking are they saying my name that's nah, not my name and um eventually they said my name and I was like when I heard it, I was like yes went up there and showed them my ID and then they gave me the thing it was so cool I felt so happy as soon as I heard that I felt so relaxed that's good. And now I will say the point that because you know that feeling of waiting for when they say read out your name, it's exactly, pretty much exactly the same feeling as when I was playing World of Warcraft and you go to do an instance, like a dungeon, and you want a particular item. Like you're doing it, let's say in the old days when we were doing like, um, uh, like Black Rock Spire and stuff, and you're trying to get your, your set for your your um what do you call it your, your class like like for me I was Valor I think it was for the warrior and so like let's just say I was trying to get like the helmet helm or something helm of Valor and I'd have to just run the dungeon again and again and again and again and just hopefully the thing that I want it drops and hopefully when it drops I roll and I get it it's the exact same feeling pretty much and it was interesting I noticed that feeling because going out for this lottery thing like basically it's almost like running an instance for an item because you kind of like you're going there like you're from home and you go out there specifically to do this lottery and there's no guarantee that you're gonna be watching it you just go like basically dedicate your whole couple of hours to do it unless you're already in the city if you just happen to be in the city and you've got nothing afterwards then it's oh that's fine you know that's easy not easy, I wouldn't say easy, but you still gotta do it. But it's harder if you're not planning on being in the city at the time and you go out there, you kind of like just hoping that you're gonna get picked. And then when you're waiting for them to read out your name, it's like waiting for the item to come up. It's the exact same feeling. Anyways, I'm so happy that I got it this way. 
because it's like another another experience that I can have that I can talk about to other people who have had it and I feel good about it because um, when Wicked came back this year I was thinking to myself I definitely want to see it you know I really want to and I really want to go with my little sister as well to see it and I was thinking and also Lucy Dirac I wanted to see Lucy Dirac as Glinda and I think Wicked was going to be on till September and so yeah I definitely didn't want to miss it but at the same time like I just bought a car recently and I've got to like you know I you know I have credit card like debt and stuff like that and yeah stuff like that and um I was thinking I can't afford to buy because the ticket for a wicked is like a hundred and hundred or hundred and twenty and I was going to buy a ticket for my sister as well so that we double um and so I think oh it just doesn't it felt really like I could be you know how when you don't want, when you're in like in debt you don't want to buy something that's a few hundred dollars but you at the same time you do want it but so I was thinking this lottery thing getting a ticket for 35 bucks I'll be like yes it just feels like I should be doing it this way although at the same time I try to calculate going what if I just go to the city because a ticket to the city I don't know how much it costs like I'm just gonna say ten dollars or something like that so every time I go to the city like is it ten 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 what if I spend like a hundred bucks just doing trips to the city I don't know but I was willing to do that actually in my phone I um put in the calendar reminder on the days that I was going to try the lottery like I had it as a repeating thing every week try for wicked lottery at this time and stuff I was like I was I was like ready to do this give it a shot give it a good shot my I think my feeling at the time was like give it a shot for a couple weeks and if I don't then just just buy the tickets and go see it but I'm so glad I did it this way because it's um different it's exciting and there was one little perk as well okay before I get to the perk which I definitely won't be missing because it's very cool um yeah after I got the ticket I called my sister and um she was like ah, blah, blah, blah. and the cool thing like um I think uh she wanted to see it as well she was really happy to see it but half of her was torn because she was thinking oh she wanted to see it with Jeff as well she wanted because Jeff has not seen it, her boyfriend and so that's pretty cool of her to think of him as well so um then she, because I didn't even occur to me that we could buy an extra ticket, um, so she suggested, "Is there any like another ticket we can get?" And I was like, "Oh, okay." And then so I asked the people at the counter, and they said, "Yeah, there's single tickets around." So I, we, I bought um a ticket, like an extra ticket. It wasn't with together with us, but at the time I was just like, "Oh yeah, he'll be he'll get to see it." Um, and then later I had a better idea. So um, uh, yeah, so it was good. So he, Jeff gets to see it as well. Lisa, Lisa, my sister gets to see it. I get to see it, and I uh, get to do the lorry. So um, yeah, and then uh, I try like then I um when they wanted me to pay for it, I I gave him my card and I was, they were like oh no it's cash only and I was like oh and they go we can only wait a few minutes or something like that and I was like oh my god all right cool I'll be back really soon and so I quickly ran to the closest ATM which drew cash came back and bought the ticket and so once I had the ticket I was like yes. Yes, whatever happens, I get to watch it. Oh. And then um, I looked at the thing, and and it said the row of the ticket was A A A. I was thinking, I don't even when I book tickets, I never get the chance to book tickets that close, like because they're like super ex- usually more most expensive ones and stuff like that. And I probably never even looked at the front row to see that it's called A A A. I didn't know what A A A was. Um, so what I did was um. I was so happy I um, took a photo of the ticket with on the wicked background or something like that and I was trying on di- so many different um, places like here and on this poster on that poster trying to find a picture that I really liked it was tricky because sometimes the flash no flash I-, I mean I had time to kill I had like two hours before the show started so I had plenty of time it was a good time before the show and so I um, just did that until I got a photo I was pretty happy with oh I might as well show you guys <laughs> um show you do, 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 do. I don't know which one I used actually hmm I'll recognize it when I see it I think it was this one something like that that one so that's me holding the ticket and that's background it's got Elphaba and Glinda and then the wicked poster. So that's outside the Regent Theatre. Um, yeah, so that I did, took the photo, and then 
uh, I was kind of like, I had like an hour or two to kill before the um, show started at 6.30 and so I was waiting for my sister to come in and um, so I went to grab some food and I, it, was, it was good. It was a really good hour or two just waiting, knowing that I was going to watch Weekend. It's interesting because like, it's funny how sometimes a day can totally change and then you're doing something so awesome and you weren't even planning to do it. That's what's good about the lottery. It is so cool because you didn't. I didn't expect this would be happening this day. Like, because if I went and just bought the tickets and I knew in advance, like, okay, on this Friday I'll be watching Wicked. But this day I did not know I was going to be watching Wicked, and it's awesome to be watching Wicked. Um. Okay. So what else? Okay. So the cool thing is, um, oh yeah. So my sister and um Jeff they were coming in, but I think they were a bit like. The show was about to start, so I left their two tickets um, at the, um, what do you call it, box office, and so I went in first, and um, I got to, they uh, they took me down, and then they showed me to my seat, and it was like in the front row, I did not expect to be in the front row, I was like, what? oh, another really cool thing is, um, I posted the photo on Facebook of me, that I won the lottery, and all my, all these, all my friends were like, oh, so good, and it felt really good, like, there was Cameron, and um, Flora, and Alex and all me and all bunch of people they were like uh, oh so happy for it was a really good feeling like because um it's really cool when something good happens to you and your friends are really happy for you it's like it's a really nice feeling I noticed it's awesome um uh yeah so I was sitting in the front row and I've never I don't think of I can't remember ever being in the front row of a musical before especially a musical like Wicked which is like my L- Wicked and Lame is are my two favorite uh, musicals, and so I was a gar- I was I couldn't get over it. I was sitting there, just a big smile on my face, just waiting for the show to start. Um, um what show? I took a few photos before the show start. You can take photos, so that's like me sitting in my seat, and that's like stairs and stuff. It's part of the stage. And that's, I think that's, oh, I don't think you can tell. That's like a map of Oz. And there's a dragon. Oh, so you can't see it. That's the dragon. Okay. So, I was really happy. But then once I was there, I was, um, in my back of my mind, I was thinking, oh, I hope um, Lisa and Jeff get here soon so they don't miss too much of the start. Because that'd be awful if they missed a lot of the start. But then the show started, and I was like, oh. And then it was cool because um, Glenda, they, they started coming out dancing, and then Glenda came out in her bubble and um, circle thing, and then she started singing it, and I was like, yes. Because I, I really wanted it to be Lucy Dirac to be the Glenda, because sometimes there might be a different person, like if Lucy's had, got like, a cold or something, they might have a replacement doing it for her, and I, I really wanted to see Lucy. And... When I yeah, saw her come out and I could recognise her voice, I was like, yay, hey, put it at ease. It was good. That was one of the things I was looking forward to. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So, oh, front row seats. It's like a totally different experience. I didn't realise how much of a different experience it was, but close up, it's incredible. Like, they're so close. Like, literally, like, within five metres of you sometimes they're standing there and it's just like it's a difference seeing it from far and then seeing it close like I couldn't believe how awesome it was and then um I think there was quite a few songs and then eventually I think after the part where they were in the school or something after that part that's when I saw um one of the ushers bring and my sister came in I was like oh once she was there I was like oh that if it was felt better like she was there but the, later I found out that her and Jeff um had like because you know how they have the thing where they don't let people in to their seat as, until a certain time so because they don't want to interrupt the songs and stuff so they didn't miss out anything really they got to see it but they were standing from the side near the door so that's all right I'm happy with that and um oh it was amazing so just to talk about the show now I loved it it was like like I remember I really liked Wicked a lot but the thing is, like, as time goes on, your memory kind of fades about things, and I remember I liked it, but I don't remember all the details about it. I just remember little bits and pieces. But then to see it again, it just reminded me, oh, it was 
I, I felt it almost, it was even better than the first time I saw it, or the first two times I saw it. And that's saying a lot because I really liked it a lot, but seeing it so close and then appreciating it because it's been like five years or so since it's been on, I don't know what it is. Or maybe even, I don't know, maybe I've matured a little bit or, or the actors have matured a little bit or something. I don't know what it is, but I, I loved it so much. Oh, just watching them be these characters and I, I remember why I like this musical so much like this a lot of emotion in it and it's um about friendship and just the way the storyline goes and it's incredible it's like when I was watching I was thinking this is one of the best art things that humans have ever created like you know it's so good like the music everything is so good like it's like it's a story for entertainment but at the same time these characters feel real and you can see they're like and the actors believe that they're real like I mean you can just tell like oh, I can't get over it how awesome it is oh, I need to give a shout out to the girl who plays Elphaba as well the Wicked Witch because I've said a lot about Lucy Dirac but Elphaba is just as good um, hopefully I can find a name just bear with me please <laughs> I wish I could put some like something interesting on in the background. Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Sorry. Uh, and maybe I can tell you jokes or something. <laughs> I don't know how to spell Elphaba. <laughs> uh, Gemma Ricks. Okay. I reckon it's Gemma Ricks. I'm going to type in Lucy Dirac as well. Just to see if it comes out together. Alright. Okay, I'm just going to... Yeah, let's just say <laughs> it's Gemma Ricks. Gemma Ricks. With a J, Gemma with a J. I want to get a photo of them up as well, because they are awesome. They are so awesome. <laughs> you can't tell. That's the problem with this. Well, that's Lucy Dirac, and that's Gemma Ricks. If you want, you can look it up on internet. On the internet, uh, Dirac, D U R A C K. I met her as well, like, um, after we watched the musical, um, Legally Blonde, um, we were walking home, and then we saw this crowd gathered on the side of the building, and we are like, what's going on? And then all the stars started coming out, and I was like, ah. And so, when she came out, I was like, there was a, like, crowd around her, and, um, got to have a photo with her, so that was good. I'm happy. I might put that photo back up on Facebook, <laughs> even though it's an old one. <laughs> I don't know, now, maybe not. Old. Oh well. Um. Oh, so Wicked is awesome. Now let's talk about the actual, mu actual musical. Oh, the one thing I have to talk about from being in the front row when they sang Defying Gravity, it was one of the moments in my life where it was like incredible. Like, thanks, Anna. Yeah, no problem. It's so awesome. <laughs> oh well that's in the theme of the video my sister just thanked me that was cool um, but anyways the moment when um, they were singing Defying Gravity um, it was so good oh, it was really good it was so good um, this moment I wish I could have taken a photo of it when I saw this, it was like the moment. You know when you see something and you think, oh, I want to snap it. If I, could, if I could have my memory and just take a screenshot. It was like, I tell you, Lucy Dirac as Glinda was right in front of me with her back turned to me, right? Like within five meters. Within five meters, seriously. Elphaba Generix was up in the air doing her Defying Gravity. And if you've seen this musical or you know what 
how awesome that moment is, but to see it from this angle, right? And then the lights coming down, they come down like this. And from this angle, it was incredible. Like, you know, I love when I see a photo and there's the rays of light from the sun through clouds and stuff. You know what I'm talking about, those rays of light. But this was like coming out from the ceiling. It was the most incredible, one of the most incredible moments I've ever experienced, ever. And I just wanted to soak it in when it was happening. It was, I can't describe it. Well, I, I'm trying to describe it. I think I can, I have described it, but I can't convey how awesome it was. I wish I could just take one photo of that moment, but you're not allowed to have cameras on during the show, obviously. But that would have been such a great, if I could just take that photo. <laughs> if I had like a this Google glasses or something, they're not even, I don't know if they're out yet. <laughs> but no, maybe sometimes, right? Eh? Like in Secret Life of Water Midi, you know how um, Sean Penn was taking it, about to take a photo of the ghost cat, and then he stopped and said no. He didn't take the photo, he just sat and looked at it, and he goes, sometimes he doesn't take the photo, he just sits in the moment. Well, I'm glad that I didn't get to take the photo, because I just, I really did enjoy the moment. I was so, that was fantastic. Uh, Wicked is awesome. And just, it was so worth going. If you're at home and you haven't seen Wicked, or you have seen Wicked and you're thinking on the fence whether you should go or not, totally go. Definitely go. I think it's worth it. Because, I don't know, once it goes, who knows when it's going to come back. And, oh, there's another thing I want to talk about. It would have been nice to end the video on that awesome moment, but there's something else I want to talk about. There's a moment in the... In the, um part where there's a lyric in the song where it goes, it's between um, Elphaba and Glinda and there's a lyric that says um, who knows if we'll ever meet again, like this might be the last time I see you in this lifetime or something like that and when, I, when they said that part I was thinking what if this is the last time I get to see these two actresses play this role and I was, I was like, oh, so, but at the same time, it's, it's okay, because I got to experience it again, and, um, also part of the song says, oh, don't worry about it, I won't go into it, about how things change you for good, or something, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, what else to say? Yeah, I'm really glad I got to see it again. Um, oh, how could I almost forget? As I was leaving the theatre, something caught my eye. I'll show you the photo of what caught my eye. Hmm, this cabinet. I was walking past, and this cabinet was there. Okay. Cabinet. And then I spotted these things, and I was looking at it, right? And then I saw this water bottle. I was like, whoa! It looked really cool, because it's a nice green colour, got, it's got the word Wicked on it, and it has all this stuff about, um, Wonderful Wizard of Oz, or something like that. And, I mean, I've been using... I've been using this Mizone, Mizone, Mizone water bottle for ages, like I reckon two years or something. Ages, because it's such a good bottle. This one's this is limited edition. No, it's not. Well, I've been using it for a long time, I think. It's a good bottle, I like it. But then, I had to buy it. So, here, I want to get it. Oh, it still is. So, I just wanted it, because it's something I will use, because I use a water bottle every day. So look how cool it is, it looks so nice. So cool.
cool. I, I haven't used it, so I don't know how it functions, how well it functions as a water bottle, and if I'll end up liking it or not, but I like that I have it. Hmm. Oh, might take a little while to get used to it, but it's so nice, isn't it? It says, the wonderful wizard's green elixir, morning cure-all, one sip, never fail. Yeah, and it says wicked. How cool is that? I like it. Um, and with that, I think I'll end up in the video. Yeah, so Wicked was awesome. The lottery was awesome. I'm really glad I can join the club of people who won my lottery. Yep. Um, yeah. That's it. All right. I think I'll end with um, singing a lyric of one, of, probably my favorite song from Wicked. Popular. I'm gonna. I don't even know the, all the words, but I know the tone. I'm gonna make you. Popular. <laughs> I like that bit, the way she sings it. Lucy Direct sings it. Ah, it's so good. I like that. And Defying Gravity, obviously, but I can't do it. Need a lot of. Mm. Yeah, anyways, that's it.